Will Airborne. Today we're talking about the second Rangers. These guys, just look at them. From top to bottom, they're gorgeous. These guys were an all African American Ranger Regiment. You heard it right. If you didn't know, now you know. And no one's at the battle. G.I. Joe, trademark and pitting of, of Hasbro. Anyway, the second Rangers were one of three Ranger companies to land in Korea in December of 1950. These guys were known as the Buffalo Rangers. Ooh. Their unit was instrumental in fighting the battles of Monsani as part of Operation Tomahawk in the Battle of Soyang River. Typical infantry companies had about 230 men. But the Ranger companies at the time, including the 2nd Airborne Rangers, were made up of only 100 men with four officers. Imagine that. Only four knuckleheads you have to listen to. <sighs> they served wherever needed, on foot patrols, riding shotgun, freight trains, and pulling security on various routes. Just look at these guys. Imagine walking down the road and seeing them. Walk the other way, Airborne. <sighs> they were disbanded after August 1951, along with other Ranger companies. The unit soldiers secured several awards in its 10-month existence. These included four campaign streamers, nine silver star medals, and over 100 Purple Heart medals like this guy. Subsequent research has focused on the economy of force of how the Rangers were employed and how their performance was impacted by the racist policies of the time. Because keep in mind, back in the 50s, we were still segregated. This just goes to show you, and I want to hit this task again. If someone ever tells you you can't do something because of nationality, creed, race, or religion, take your examples from history. You can do whatever you want and become an airborne legend or god. These guys truly did set the example of esprit de corps along with being able to overcome and adapt. If you get a chance... Google the 2nd Airborne Ranger Company, the All-Black Ranger Regiment, the Buffalo Rangers. Dive into history and learn from it. <sighs> I can't stress this enough. If you really want to learn from history and change the world that we live in for a better environment, you have to do your own research. So one thing that I've learned in my life, never let anybody hold you back from Skies of Blue Airborne. Man, look at these guys. Just legends. Whew.